Hi guys, in the last video on top 3 IT trends of 2022, I mentioned about hyperconsolidation and AMD server CPU launch. This video covers that in more detail and how it may be the ultimate cost cutter for data centers. A few weeks ago, AMD launched four types of server CPUs and boy they didn't disappoint. They give roughly two times the performance of previous generation with only a modest power consumption increase. But there were two things that really caught my eye that would significantly reduce the cost of data center for a company. The first one is the usage of single rank memory only causing a performance deficit of 4.5% instead of 25% seen historically. This is really important as single rank memory is significantly cheaper than the others and memory constitutes about 50% of the overall server cost, thus saving a lot of money for an organization while taking a really small hit of performance. What is the second one in this particular slide about server consolidation which just blew my mind? AMD claimed to provide similar performance to Intel using 50 to 70% lesser number of servers, resulting in lesser energy requirements. Given that everyone is facing higher energy prices, this would be an absolute godsend. But wait, it gets even better. What she presented was a comparison between a top-of-the-line CPU from AMD and Intel. However, most current data centers, particularly in the legacy space, have between 1 to 8 server CPU cores and are built on a much slower and a much older Intel architecture. So taking an average of 4 Broadwell 2015 CPU cores per server, you could potentially replace between 75 and 100 such servers with just one AMD server. This is an absolute game changer for data centers, especially for those which are more than 5 years old. And believe me, there are hundreds and thousands of such data centers which is why the impact is much higher than what was quoted by AMD and seriously challenges the position of Intel in the server market. AMD now has a 128 core CPU launched later this year, which let's just say is rubbing salt in Intel's wool. But there are some challenges on adoption, such as power requirements, software compatibility, migration costs, and the very risk of having too much of compute power in a single space, thus becoming a single point of failure. However, for most of these scenarios, this can either be overcome or are not a challenge at all, not to mention the absolutely insane economic benefits that this kind of a consolidation will provide. So what do you think about this? Comment down below on your views about the game-changing server CPU or is it just a gradual increment? That's it for today guys, please like the video and do subscribe to the channel for such stories, ciao.